Tonight we are going to the first British female chef to get awarded three, three Michelin stars. stars. It's Claire Smith. She was a head chef at Gordon Ramsay for I think 10 years or something like this. She was working for Alan Ducasse as well in Monaco. So she knows her stuff. We are super excited to go eat there. Of course, we're gonna take you with us. <laughs> just to begin with your canapes, just in the middle over here, and our jelly deals, which has uh, taken the whole East London classic jelly deal. We use smoked deal uh, with a creme fraiche parsley jelly, and it's in a nori seaweed, and we just spray that with a little bit of malt vinegar. Under the crush, our smoked lobster rolls. So this is a butter poached native lobster with a tarragon dressing and Mary Rose sauce. Just next to you, rouges, which are flavored with tomato and basil. And then on the moss is a foie gras parfait tart with a Madeira jelly and smoked duck out. See, I thought you didn't like Fogra. I love it. <laughs> It reminds me of panettone. First impression. Here we go. What is it? You can really taste the feminine touch. It's delicate but powerful. We made a tart which is seasoned. At the moment, we've got amazing Giron from Scotland. We've got a buckwheat royale, fresh almond, and a mushroom green. Oh. It's okay. It's so complex, I cannot even describe it. Pure umami. Some parsley, buckwheat, so good. Alright, so the turbot and mussels, uh, which both come from Cornwall. And so the turbot's braised and roasted, the mussels are steamed, and the sauce is a raw marinier sauce, a lovely French classic sauce. Uh, the turnip roast, and they use the turnip tops to make the pasta goats because sauce you have around here. And to finish it, we have a fresh shaved lemon. I'm not the biggest fan of chips milk, but this is good. It's gonna be your heavy glam. We cook it on a bone just to retain as much flavor and moisture as possible and then we debone. On the breast we make crispy bacon with sheep skin and some of them. On the side we have the jam lettuce with baby and vegetables and finish with the pea puree and mint oil. The best lamb ever. Here's an anti-complete can with the cream cheese, coated with blood orange and carrot, touch of people, then walnuts and pickled ginger, and a fresh carrot over the inside. Hey, boy, I don't know if you're supposed to be here, This is our cool teaser, inspired by the Maltese chocolate itself. It's where you've got aerated malt sugar with caramel feathers, hazelnut ice cream, and a milk chocolate crust. Just like chocolate, isn't it? Yes. 
This sugary thing, as soon as you put it in your mouth, evaporates. But yeah, a bit not, too simple. Not, so not so special. Buonissimo. Ecco. C'è il cioccolato in sugar. Sì, Finish your door, you don't have a chocolate. No, no, no. So we now have our last few little chocolates and treats for you. Starting with the freshly baked warm chocolate tarts of lavender. And then on the vines are our version of wine gums that we do truly make from wine. So for the gold we use Soto and Sweet Wine from Bordeaux. And then for the red we use Banyol's fortified red wine from the south of France. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, this will do. This will do. <laughs> Is it good enough for you? It's like a lava cake with a very subtle yeah. lavender flavor in the background. Yeah, I think this is the best one. So good. Fancy. Fancy. Okay, basta. Proviamolo. It's sour. I don't like it. No, I love it. I don't need a car. Vino rosso. Red wine, yeah, something like that. Ma è fermentato. Tutto il vino è fermentato. What an aftertaste. I told you. Like a stinky aftertaste. I think everything was really amazing. The flavors were all on point. If I have to find uh, like something to critique, in my opinion, I believe all the dishes were really rich, umami, sweet. Uh, I would have loved uh, if the dishes were just a tiny bit more acidic. I love when there is like sour and bitter and uh, I felt like everything was uh, super round and I just wanted that little uh, sprint. That's what was missing to me. But of course we are talking about like a three Michelin star restaurant so everything was crazy delicious. <laughs> it's just like if I really have to pinpoint something, that's what I, that's what I would critique. We really had a good night and we will see you in the next video. Yeah.